I thought of part four for this story time. So I want to go ahead and get off my chest before I forget and creativity juices are flowing. So Kendra and Byron were in bed, laying in bed. Byron, unfortunately, well, fortunately, depending on how you want to look at it. <laughs> He got aroused while laying next to Kendra, which is, which is for a young, healthy man, fine man, um, it's perfectly normal. And so he excused himself and went home. He was embarrassed. And so fast forward a couple of days later, he comes over and he approaches Kendra in the kitchen. She's in the kitchen cooking dinner. And he said, um, this is the next day, I'm sorry. Um, he says, Kendra, do you have a second? And she turns around and she's like, yeah, yeah, what, what, what is it? He's like, look, I want to apologize again for what happened last night. It was, and that's when she stopped him. She's like, look, Byron, you don't have to apologize. I'm the one that asked you to spend the night. I didn't think you were trying to do anything. I did see the pillow on the, on the ground because he had told her y'all, he texted her. He texted her later on that night to say, hey, I wasn't trying to do anything. I actually have put a pillow between us and I don't know what happened to it. So after he had left, sure enough, she looked down on the floor and saw that there was an extra pillow that had leaned it on the floor more than likely when they were tossing and turning in bed. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I told you we're going to go there in the story time. Please be um be mindful of that you don't have to explain anything i did find the pillow on the ground you know from now on i just think that we should just have some clear boundaries um i do appreciate everything you've been doing around here but you know um i don't expect for you to be spending spending the night or anything like that so you know let's just just you know forget that it even happened and so he's like cool cool okay i'm gonna go ahead and um store out in the back and i'll let you know when i'm done she's like all right then so he leaves and um she has not heard from lamont and which is okay with her but she has an upcoming appointment that she wants to make sure that he's going to be in town for and this is how far along is she is she y'all she's 18 weeks like let's put her at 20 weeks okay she's 20 weeks pregnant girl almost there halfway there mama so she has a appointment that she really wants you know lamont to be around for she so she was hoping he would call and he doesn't so okay y'all fast forward now two or three days later Lamont has finally came back and she's you know they're having dinner and she's questioning him well they're just conversating about his latest business trip and she's like so how did everything go he's like it was really cool matter of fact they want me back out there um next week and she's like what day he said like, Tuesday morning you know I figure I could leave here Monday be there Tuesday Monday morning fresh and you know get ready to win them completely over and that's when Kendra looked at him she said Lamont but that's when my appointment you know I really wanted you to come with me and he's like he looked at her he's like is it then she's like yeah he said well look sweetheart if I can seal this deal I won't have to work that hard for another four or five months I mean we will have enough money to um redo the backyard you know and and put in a pool even and so she just looks at him and he's like i'm so sorry you know if there's is there any way you can reschedule and she's like no i can't you know these small towns they don't have a lot of options so i need to keep this appointment lamont and she's like you know what it's okay i'll just go by myself so Kendra's a little heartbroken, but she understands that Lamont needs to go on this business deal. And if it's true, if he's able to seal this deal and they don't need to work, that means, you know, more money in their pockets, you know. So she sucks it up and was like, okay. All right, y'all. So this is like the morning of her appointment with the OBGYN and they're going to be looking at the baby. Now she did let the tech know that she does not want to know the sex. So they're going to, um, you know, not reveal that to her. So she's getting ready to go and she goes downstairs and she sees Byron comes in and she's like, Oh, Byron, I forgot to, you know, tell you that we know we don't need you here today because I'm going into town. I'm headed into town. I have a doctor's appointment. He's like, Oh, isn't Lamont? She's like, well, he went ahead and left. He's like, oh, okay. And so that's when Kendra's looking down and she all of a sudden starts, she all of a sudden starts crying, girl. <laughs> Just Kendra in her tears. And Byron's like, are you okay? She's like, I'm so sorry again. You know, I was really hoping he would be here. And, you know, I let him know that he go, he could go. Just being here in this small town and just being new to everything. And I just feel like I'm doing so much. 
and it, it's everything's happening so fast and so he's like look if you don't mind i can i could go with you and she looks at him and she kind of looks at him and she's like are you sure he's like yeah i could go with you if you need some support just meet someone there now i don't have to go in all the way in but i could just be waiting you know stay in the waiting room if you want and she's like that would be nice so they take her car and head out to the doctor's appointment and so um kendra sits there in the waiting room and lamont's sitting there looking a little nervous lamont has never been in an open i'm sorry and byron y'all did have i been calling him lamont i'm sorry so byron goes with her and girl they're in the waiting room Byron's a little nervous looking at all these women with their pregnant bellies. He hopes no one sees him and assumes that he ain't got this woman pregnant, you know. And so finally, um, Kendra's called in. And so the nurse assistant is like, Are you gonna come too? At Byron. And before Byron can even answer, Kendra's like, Well, come on, come on. And so he has to go with her. And they go into the waiting room and the tech pulls up, puts a little gel on her belly and starts looking around and the tech confirms, she's like, everything looks good, mom and dad. And Byron's like, oh, I'm not the father. And so the tech looks at him kind of suspicious, like, oh, okay. And so she confirms everything looks, looks good. They can hear the heartbeat and Kendra is all smiles you know she's smiling go ahead and leave the doctor's appointment and they're just chatting on the way home and I say you know or heading back home Kendra's like you know I really do appreciate you doing that you really didn't have to do that so I appreciate it's just nice to have a little extra support right now and Byron's like yeah no problem I guess this is part of the job description all of the duties and so she starts laughing and so she's like hey um I know we talked about boundaries, but are you okay with having some staying over for dinner? He's like, that's not out of boundary for me. Again, free food. I'm down for it. So they go ahead and have dinner. And so you guys, they do this almost every night for, because again, Lamont is out for another week. They do this almost every night. It almost becomes routine for them, for Byron to come and uh, working and after work he stays for dinner and most of the time Byron ends up cooking which Kendra is all for and you know, Byron can throw down in the kitchen I wonder if he can so anyway <laughs> well, all right you guys so one night they're busy laughing it up kicking it up and that's when all of a sudden Kendra hears the door open and it's Lamont and she turns around and he's like, hello, hello, because he hears and Byron is over a little later than he should be. And so Lamont come in, he's like, well, what's going on? And so Kendra gets up kind of nervous and she's like, oh, hey, you, he's like, yeah, I decided to come in a little bit early, you know, since I wasn't here for the doctor's appointment, I wanted to surprise you. And he had flowers with him and she's like, oh, thank you. And so she goes, and he goes ahead and gives her the flowers while he's hugging her. Byron is in front of he, him and Lamont is looking at Byron kind of suspicious. Like, man, what are you doing here with my fine pregnant wife? So Byron takes that as a sign to get up. So he gets up. He's like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and head out. He said, hey, man, nice to see you again. Um, and I'll see y'all in a couple more days. So Lamont looks at her. And he's like, so how long has he been over here? She's And she looks at him while she's clearing the table. Okay, Kendra's clearing the table. And she turns around. She's like, only for a couple of hours. And so he's like, so has he been coming over like every night? And she looks at him. She's like, well, Lamont, you're the one that told him to come over and check on me. He's like, yeah, but checking on you is totally different from staying for dinner and so she turns around she's like are you getting jealous he's like no nah, i just want to know like how long has he been over here that's all he's like, you know i'm gonna go ahead and put my things upstairs so lamont is headed upstairs he's tired his phone is ringing off the hook he looks at it and he presses it um to go off literally like a few seconds later the person keeps calling 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 he answers the phone phone he looks downstairs real quickly and he whispers i told you i'll call you in a minute okay i just made it home i just walked in the door i'll call you later on. so whispers hang up the phone that's when cut over to byron he's laying in bed um byron decided you know what i can't really find any any dirt on these people because it seems like they are okay you know um and y'all just to let you know byron was really just being nosy he has a couple of friends he hang out with um one or two of them actually from the car wash and they're all hackers that's what they do and so a lot of the information he found up uh, found about lamont 
um, anybody could really find if they had some basic hacking skills. Nothing too juicy. Lamont, again, makes it upstairs. He turns the shower on, so Kendra can't hear him down, downstairs. So he's like, hey, yeah, I told you I'll call you. He doesn't know by now that Kendra has made her way upstairs. And she's like, Lamont, Lamont can't hear her because he's in the bathroom. And so she's steadily going and she thought she could hear whispering. That's when she leans her ear up to the door and then he, she quickly hears Lamont say, hold on for a second. He opens up the door real quick and she's like, what are you doing? He's like, I just came in here real quick to take a shower. What are you doing? She's like, I thought I heard you talking to someone. Were you on your phone? He's like, no, babe, I'm on my, on my phone. I'm just getting ready to take a shower. She's like, all right, man, well, if you want some dinner, if you're hungry, there's some leftovers here that you can have. He's like, oh, so y'all save me some? She's like, Lamont, come on now. You just came home. I know you're tired, but come downstairs with me when you, when you get done. And so he's like, all right, then. She leaves. He waits to hear for her to leave. And she goes downstairs, and he picks up his phone and says, Hey, I'm sorry she came in while I was talking to you. So Kendra's looking kind of nervous and she picks up her cell phone and texts Tiff and she's like, Hey, can you give me a call when you when you have a chance to speak? Tiff looks at her phone and she's like, Oh my gosh. That's when Lamont gets a text message. I know y'all pay attention. Lamont gets a text message that says, Hey, she just sent me a text message. I don't know what you're doing, but you need to be more careful. Y'all, all right, y'all. That's part, I know I already played this part four, girl. Yeah, part four.